everyone, welcome back to my channel, Acton Show. I'm Dika. So, last time on Kids on the Slope, we met, I wouldn't say he's a recluse, but quiet kid, uh, Karu, who'd moved to a new town. Um, he had that really fun um, beginning monologue where he was talking about how the school was literally on a slope, um, making his way up. He had run into both uh, Ritsuko and Sentaro. Sentaro being, um, I really like his name. Kawabuchi, he was like the school bully, well I wouldn't call him a bully, he's like the thug type guy. Uh, weirdly enough, they seemed to, I wouldn't know if they would go on, but I did mention the last reaction, they had made a definite impression on each other. Um, and he also came across his friend Ritsuko, who he has a bit of a crush, or he's, he's developing some sort of feelings for. So they had a moment together, and it's clear that they both have made an impression on one another, until they went to Ritsuko's shop, and um, he'd realised... Well, Ritsuku took him to the shop and he'd brought him down to the basement. They were trying to play jazz. Uh, Kara was... Not Kara, sorry. Uh, Sentaro clearly didn't expect him to pick up on it. And even though he played it, he played the piano note for note. He was like, no, you've got it wrong. You don't know what you're doing. So I think that kind of spurred him on to make sure to prove him wrong. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Here we are with episode two. I thought I understood the features of jazz in my head. But reproducing them was proving to be extremely difficult. He's actually coming to class now. Mm. And then perform it in front of him and Lee John. <laughs> you, you win! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't make a fuss. He likes Other um. That, you've kind of been getting on my nerves recently. Lee Chan, well, with Siku. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't move. Keep nice and quiet. Those little hotties from the girls' school come home this way too, so this will give them something to look at. Oh yeah! <laughs> Damn. I don't care how you dumbasses do it. I want them eating dirt. Hey, that ain't gonna happen. What's this? Reach on. Would you hold on to my glasses for me? Huh? Is he gonna go and fight as well? Get him! I bet she's gonna bring Centauro all along. Oh, oh shit. Rich. <laughs> Sorry to make you wait. That's okay. Well, should we. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing these subtitles? are killing me. But... Aw, oh, so 
<laughs> Centauro is going to be coming along on their little date. Um, what about the library? It's so hot today. Doesn't it feel much better at the ocean? How did it come to this? <laughs> Why did it end up the three of us? Here, eat it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. One bite, huh? Centauro is special. Our priestess, he's made for the tree. Rico. You don't have to tell him all of that. Mm. We came all this way, so let's take a dip. Uh, let's swim, Coruscant. Uh -huh. Sure, okay. <laughs> what are you being bashful about? You're as flat as a washboard. <laughs> <laughs> don't say weird things like that in front of Coruscant. <laughs> Enough, Centauro. Richard! He's gonna trick him. <laughs> He's gonna end up smacking into what's his name. Hey, what gives? <laughs> Why are you swimming away? <laughs> <laughs> Let's trade places. Huh? I'll take over the rowing. Not that I'm complaining, yeah. but you've been taking us in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Are they teenagers? Uh, this time, I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> Thank you so much. No. <laughs> but when it comes to falling in love, you don't need a reason or time. Nice. So that was episode two, summertime. So after the interaction they had last time, you could tell that. Um, uh, Karu was um, um, not going to allow what uh, Centaro had said to get to him. So basically, after he made the comments, he was he was literally willing to get it correct. But like I said before, Karu being a pianist, he knows how to um, follow things to a T. Obviously, indicating that he doesn't know how to be not smooth with it but to be like jazz like and that's obviously what Santara had pointed out so he was practicing and practicing and he was like no matter he's like I could hit it note for note but I just can't get the same feeling that was coming out from the um from the music so there was a little bit of an unfortunate uh, run in with that bully and he was the same guy that was interested in uh, Ritu uh, Ritsuka um and he was trying to mess him about but obviously Santara had come and you know basically smack them up making the bully i forgot his name i don't know if they gave him a name uh he lost the tooth and all of that stuff that had happened but i think um obviously prior to that centara had noticed that he was practicing and i guess he could appreciate that to the point where after the fight they had and when um the guy started ganging up on centaro and Cairo had you know jumped in to try and help him it almost kind of bridged a brotherhood between them and obviously we got to meet and I don't think it'll be the last of him brother June or June key June key I think that's how you say it so he's a he was playing he was on the trumpet and they tried to get involved including Ritsuka's dad to play a bit of jazz and even he was impressed to say that you know you've been playing for only a, a short while you know you need practice but it sounds good and it's, it's no secret that uh, Kara is interested in um, Ritsuka even obviously wanting to go out with them he found out that they're both christians and i did like that bit on the boat where when you'd asked about the cross and the rosary there's clearly something else going on in um centauro's life that he doesn't want he even chastised ritsuka for that like you know he, he don't need to know everything sort of thing um but just like what happened on the beach there, those guys are very aware of his uh, reputation. So I don't know if something might have happened and he had turned to religion. Or I don't know if something went down which caused them to be frightful of him. But there's clearly other plans. Maybe, the, maybe just as from what I gathered, what she was trying to say, maybe he's got the life or, you know, a lot of families who are, who are from um, uh, religious families, he's going to go down the path of being a priest. 
or something along those lines. So maybe that's probably why he's trying to enjoy himself, have fun now, but he knows what he's going to, like, having what sort of work he needs to go into. And obviously that girl, I don't know if she was a lady lady, but I'm assuming she's probably around their age. He met at the end, and even Caro could see that it doesn't take long to fall in love, and it could happen in an instance. So again, he's very, I think they're both very observant of one another. I don't know if Santaro had picked up on the fact that he likes uh, um, Ritsuka, Ritsuku, sorry, Ritsuko, he likes Ritsuko, however, I know at one point Kara was wondering if they have more of a thing for each other, because it happens when you've grown up with your friend or grown up with someone, you've got that uh, playfulness about you, uh, so he clearly is looking in the wrong direction, because we saw right now that Sentaro clearly has feelings for someone else, or has now got feelings for someone else, so that was a really good episode, I do like I don't know if, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure in the first episode, Ritsuko had mentioned that he was a good looking guy. So I don't know if she is oblivious to his feelings or she's going to start reciprocating. He clearly likes her. Um, and even when, even Sentaro is coming around to him because, or coming around to the idea of him because when he introduced him, after they had that session with Brother June, um, he was like, you know, he's going to be here basically even when even if we don't tell him to he is going to be here so the fact that he can see that his interest in jazz and how that's slowly impacting his life and obviously meeting these two so that was a great episode if you did like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time